Hey everybody, it's Kevin Tumman. I'm going to show you how to use any webcam in multiple applications and stuff. There's this thing called Twitch. It's a platform. I streamed to it. That was very much a Homestar Runner moment. I am Homestar, and this is the website. I do a lot of editing streams and other tech help streams. Feel free to follow and ask questions when you see me live. I have Instagram. I probably take a photo a year. I'm really bad at that. I need to start posting more. And I have Twitter where I put snarky comments or maybe even helpful comments once in a while. Now these tools and plugins are completely free to use and enable your webcam to be used in multiple applications at the same time. There's no crazy gimmick, there's just some things that you have to install. And this works for both Mac and PC, but I'm mostly going to focus on the PC side of it. Mac is pretty similar in most applications except a couple differences that I'll clarify. Before we do anything else, I'm assuming you have OBS installed. If you don't, go ahead and download OBS and install it. And this can kind of work with slobs, but not in the same way, and I'll get to that later as well. So if you go to this webpage, I'll link it in the description. There's the OBS New Tech NDI plugin. You just go to download from here. And then based on your platform, you either download the Windows installer or the Mac version. The installer is very quick. Just make sure you don't have OBS open when you're installing it. The OBS NDI plugin also only works with OBS, not slobs. So if you're using slobs, you'll need to do a different workaround, which I'll explain. The second thing we need to download are the NDI tools. And you can find those by typing in ndi.tv slash tools. I'll also link this in the description and you'll see this download button here and it'll take you right to the NDI tool download links. Again, depending on your platform, pick the one that works for you. And when you click on download, it'll bring up this pop-up asking for all this information. And for industry, you can just select digital media slash streaming. They're not gonna steal your information or spam you with emails and stuff. And then when you go ahead and click submit, you'll just receive an email with a download link. You can download that and run the installer. It's also pretty self-explanatory. Now, after you have the plugin and the tools installed and your computer restarted, let's go ahead and open up OBS. And you'll see here, there's a couple new things we got. If you go under tools, you see this NDI output settings and also under sources, you'll see you have NDI source. And if we add a source here, I'll just go ahead and add my webcam in right now. It's 4K by the way. If we go to our filters, we also see that we have a dedicated NDI output filter. And this is the thing we're primarily gonna be focusing on, although I'll go over a couple of the other bits as well. So if you're unfamiliar with what NDI is, it stands for Network Device Interface, which doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but it's a technology that allows you to send any video and audio signal through your internet network. So this can be either application to application or even a computer to computer if they're on the same network. I was capturing the wrong display. <laughs> Now the way this works within OBS is as you can see, I have two instances of OBS pulled up right here. But let's just say I went to tools, NDI output settings, and then just enabled this main output. Hit okay. That means that this preview window that you're seeing right here is now outputting through NDI, both the video and audio. So if I go into my other instance of OBS, hit plus, hit NDI source, and just add one in, you'll see that it pulls up this OBS source like so. I can just hit that. Source timing is typically best. I can allow hardware acceleration. Sometimes it does improve it, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't matter. And then latency mode, I'll just set to low. I hit okay. And now you can see my NDI source is pulling up in here. Now let's just say I wanted to output the Blackmagic device only and not OBS as a whole. I can go into the filters and then add a dedicated NDI output, hit okay close and now when I go back into this NDI source properties I can pull this down you'll see there's a dedicated NDI output I can hit that hit okay and now you can see it's pulling the original source regardless of what other things are happening in that OBS I got to resize it too but I can also pull in my Mac using the OBS NDI output as well so I went ahead and enabled the NDI output on the Mac through OBS I'm going to go ahead and right click hit properties and now you can see the OBS port here and you can see the MacBook showing up here. It does help if you have both computers connected through ethernet, Wi-Fi will give you less stability. Now, since I still have that dedicated NDI output filter on, let's just use a practical example here and just go into Nvidia broadcast. I can actually use an NDI video, but hold on a second, it's not showing up. Why is that? And I don't even see the dedicated NDI output in here. I see a bunch of other things because I make things absurd, but this is what we downloaded the NDI tools for. So let's go ahead and search webcam input and you'll see the gold logo on the NDI. And what we'll need to do is you'll see in this taskbar, I already have it loaded on my camera, but when you first open it up, it might not do that. 
So what you'll want to do is you'll go to this bottom right and find this webcam input icon and you can right click it and then you'll see your dedicated NDI output here as well as OBS, whichever thing you want to send into the webcam input. And then you can make sure your video is set to 1080p 30. As of right now, at the time of recording this, it does not do 60. Uh, that's what I'm going to get into in a second. But for now, we have it set to dedicated NDI output. So as you can see, when you go into your camera source, New Tech NDI video, it pulls it right into NVIDIA Broadcast. I can also pull this into Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or whatever other filter thing you want. This can also be used in Snapcam. I'm not going to install a later version because, um, no. If you want to have weird filters on your stream, because some people do that. Like this. <laughs> Remember, you can only send one NDI output into webcam input at the same time. However, there's another application within NDI tools that we need to take a look at. I'm also going to turn off the main output here. And what I'm actually going to do is close OBS, and I'm going to type in screen capture. And you'll see this icon show up down here for NDI screen capture. And I can right click this, and then you'll see webcam video source. Now I can actually select my Blackmagic capture device here, and now it's going directly into NDI. So if I go back into OBS, and I'm going to remove this Blackmagic device here, what I can do is go into here, grab an NDI source, and you'll see the Blackmagic capture show up here. Allow hardware acceleration, turn on low, hit OK, and now you see it come in through here. I can fit the screen. And after I've captured it in here, then I can go into the webcam input and also select that device from here. And then when I go back into NVIDIA Broadcast, I can go back to NDI, New Tech NDI Video and it shows up like so. So these are multiple forms of how you can pull in a webcam into multiple applications at once. So that that way you can use something like NVIDIA Broadcast to remove the background here, but then put something behind you. So let's just say I made a, let's just do a color source for example, and I'll shrink it down. And then I can put this in between both of them. And now I can actually have something go physically behind me. So you can basically make a parallax effect in this sense. So I wanna show you how you would use this in Streamlabs real quick. The only thing with Streamlabs is you can't do any sort of NDI output, only NDI input. So if I was to add, my black magic device and put it in here. I never use this. How does this work? Fit the screen. There we go. I have no way of making any sort of NDI output option. However, if you wanted to do this similar effect, you could just do what we just did in normal OBS and add the black magic device as an NDI source. And this would effectively function the same way. I could bring, uh, oh, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I could bring in a video capture device, select NVIDIA broadcast, and then do the same thing at a color source, just as an example. Bring it below the video capture device, which is NVIDIA broadcast, and now I have that 3D parallaxing effect again. So again, you can't send NDI output from slobs, but you can bring it into it. This is also how you would use snap cam in slobs as well. Okay, to clarify some of the quirks or some things that you should know about, when it comes to the screen capture software, the frame rate capture settings audio source are only referring to when you actually are capturing one of your computer screens. That doesn't have anything to do with your webcams that you're pulling in externally. So when you go to the webcam video source, you're pulling a physical webcam, not an NDI source. This is creating an NDI source. And my black magic sets automatically, but sometimes you'll have an instance, let's just use virtual camera as an example. You'll see that it'll have displays of different resolutions and frequencies that you can select from. And then also to clarify, the webcam input is what is taking the NDI feed and converting it into a webcam signal. Now to explain some discrepancies on the Mac, the tools are labeled slightly different, at least at the time of recording this. The webcam input is actually titled NDI virtual input. Those two are the exact same. But the screen capture on the Mac is actually called scan converter. 
and it does have a limitation to where it can't pull external webcam sources. It's only a screen capture that converts it into an NDI signal. So you cannot pull a webcam source into scan converter. So if you want to do this on Mac, you will need to have OBS with the OBS NDI plugin. Again, this was the case at the time of recording this. They could make an update and make the screen capture available for Mac as well. And then the webcam input application does have a limit of only taking one webcam source and outputting it once. However, there are workarounds for this. So let's just say you have multiple video capture devices in one OBS, each with their own dedicated NDI output. Just make sure you rename the NDI name because they will overwrite each other if they are the same. Then you open up different instances of OBS and pull each of those in as their own NDI source. So you see your dedicated NDI output two and dedicated NDI output one. And then you use the virtual cam plugin, which is a separate download. I know there's a start virtual camera there, but the virtual cam plugin allows you to do up to four different virtual cams. So you can go into that virtual cam plugin, target OBS camera here, and then up in this one, go to virtual cam, target OBS camera two. And then in your other application, you can pull them in as video capture device, OBS camera two, OBS camera. This monstrosity kind of works. You can do stuff. So if your brain just kind of exploded, I'm very sorry. But these are just examples to show you how much you can really split up your webcam sources and put them in different places that you want. For instance, you could have two dedicated NDI outputs in one source and pull those in as separate sources in a separate location. There's a lot of different ways that you can experiment with this and have fun with it and really expand what you can do. This also helps a ton if you have a two PC setup and you don't have an additional capture card for the streaming PC. You can send your first PC to the streaming PC without the need of a capture card. And the quality is as close to original as it can get if you're on the same network. So you don't really notice much of a quality loss at all. Hopefully this gave you a ton of ideas of stuff that you could experiment with. NDI is a really incredible tool that can be utilized in so many different ways that I didn't even cover. If you have any questions or something's not working the way you thought it would or you're having just any issues in general, please feel free to leave a love note in the comments and then the actual question and then I'll probably answer it. But yeah, if this content was valuable to you in some sort of way and all that general stuff, you know, hit the bell. I don't care what the, the buttons are. You know where they are. Just press them if you want to. It'd be cool. This is Camera Tim signing out. You didn't think I'd come back this time, did you? And I know this looks like an absolutely insane mess, but let's just take it one step at a time.